Want to start gaming on Linux? With Steam's Proton Tool, even if your game is officially supported on Windows only, you can now play on your Linux system. There are now over 17,000 games available to play. In the past, if you wanted to play Steam games on Linux, you had to install and run Steam through a Windows compatibility layer called Wine. You had to know how to configure Wine yourself to make any particular game work. These days, you can install a native version of Steam on Linux, and there are many games with native Linux support as well. If you haven't installed Steam yet, follow the link in the description below to install Steam. When you get started with Proton, your best support tool is going to be the website ProtonDB. Here, you'll find a database of Steam games with reports on how well they run on Linux, with or without Proton. Search for a game, and you'll find it with a rating ranging from Platinum to Borked. These ratings show how well the game will run. You can scroll through these reports to see what players say, and you can filter for specific hardware and distros to narrow down the results to people with setups similar to yours. Most important at first is the game's rating. If your game is rated native, that means that you don't necessarily need Proton to run it. If it's rated gold or platinum, there's a high likelihood that, with Proton, it will work for you with no or minimal tweaking. If it gets bronze or silver, you'll likely have to do some tweaking to make it work. If it's rated borked, there's not much hope for you, although you can still give it a try. Valve is continually improving Proton for better support, so it's possible that a borked rating can change. To use Proton first hope in Steam, and, after logging in, find the game that you want to play. It will say that it is not compatible but don't worry it will add it to your library anyway. Go to your library and make sure the penguin icon at the top of your library list isn't activated. This sorts out games that aren't native to Linux. You shall see the install button on the game page will probably be grayed out and unclickable. To change that on the right hand side of the game page, click the settings button. In the drop down menu that appears, select properties. In the properties window, click the compatibility tab. You should find a single option available. Force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. Check the box next to it. Make sure that the drop-down menu that appears is set to the highest available version of Proton. Then, go ahead and exit out of the Properties window. The Install button on the game page should be blue and clickable now. Click it to open the installation window. Next you can choose your preferences for shortcuts. You'll get an estimate of the disk space and download time required. Leave the install location as it is, and then click the next button. Click the next button to begin download and installation. The game will begin downloading, along with the version of Proton that you selected. Once both are downloaded and installed, you can launch the game by clicking play. The first time that you launch, Steam might need to spend a few minutes in pre-game setup. Be patient here. Once your game launches, don't be discouraged if it has issues at first. Consider using a recommended launch parameter or a different version of Proton. If you need to add a specific launch parameter the Open the Properties window for your game on Steam. Click Settings followed by Properties. In the first tab that opens, the General tab, look for the Launch Options section. There, you'll find a text box where you can type in or copy and paste specific launch parameters. After entering your parameters, Exit out of the properties window and try running your game. Different versions use different configurations and features that cause certain games to work better. Users might state in their reports that a specific version works best for them. For example, Grand Theft Auto works with the experimental version of Proton. When you see this, and the game isn't working well on the version you're using, consider switching to that version of Proton. Simply go back to the compatibility settings described above. And in the drop down menu, select the version of Proton that you want. Exit out of the properties window and launch your game. Steam might need time to download and install the version of Proton that you choose. If you can't get Proton to work for you, check out the Steam community forums. Proton DB also offers a helpful FAQ for troubleshooting. If you found this video useful, then please subscribe.